In this video, we'll look at how we can create area charts and how they kind of compare to the line charts. So this spreadsheet will be available in the description. You'll be able to make a copy of it. Uh, but here we have some data for maybe for sales for a couple of months, just like we had in the last video where we looked at some trends. Uh, we might look at some trends here as well. So we can see, you know, we have a couple of columns. We have one for our fixed cost, our variable cost, our total cost, and then sales and profit. And we can kind of use this to compare how some of our line charts might be very similar to our stacked area charts. So if I were to create, you know, just select these values here, these two columns, and insert a chart, it would give me a, well, it's going to suggest a column chart here, which is not super interesting. But if we make that a line chart, it's still not super interesting because you can see here, well, it's all fixed costs and the fixed cost is the same every month of our, of our period here. So that's not so great. But we can also make this an area chart and now we can kind of see what that looks like. And if we add another series, let's go ahead and add a series here. We'll select uh, the variable cost. Well, now we can see if we stack this, Go ahead and make this standard stacking. Now we can see this actually illustrates very effectively what our variable cost is over the several months. Let me go ahead and close this and we'll move this over. Uh, we can see what our variable cost is over these months. Plus we can also see how this kind of reflects the total cost. So if I see here, you know, my variable cost, it's going to tell me if I hover over each one of these points, it'll tell me the date and the variable cost uh, as well as the fixed cost. And if I go ahead and select my total cost column, we'll go ahead and select this and if we hold down the command key on Macs or on the control on Windows we can select multiple values that are not kind of up against each other that are not adjacent I'm gonna go ahead and insert a new chart here we're gonna make this a line chart and you can see how looking at this line chart it's very very similar to what we would have it's kind of the same top level here uh, is what we would have for this stacked area chart and we can look at if we hover over these values uh, 3333 for June 1st uh, plus the 2000 should give us over here 5333 for June 1st. So you can kind of see even though the scale is a little bit different on this chart on the left side they're very very similar. Now we can customize this chart a little bit. You know, we can change the way that the axes work, and you know, we can change the the values here. Um, but right now, we can kind of see how these are. You know, these are kind of representing very, very similar similar setups here. So uh, we can even change. You know, look, make this look like a log scale, or we can, you know, make the, change the values for this scale, or maybe we want to go just to hundreds or however we like but you can see that that modifies the uh, the total scale there and we can change the the format of the the numbers or anything else there but you can kind of compare these and see and we might actually be able to do the same with a profit so if we have our, our stacked uh, line or area chart over here let's go ahead and delete our uh, our other chart but we can maybe we want to move this to its own tab so or its own sheet so we'll move that to another tab that way we have some space to work with here. So if we create a, another column here, if we were to say move this over and we'll go ahead and represent our cost as a negative cost negative and we'll make this just a little bit bigger and we will just say equals and D2 but we're going to change that to negative D2 so we're gonna paste this downward and we can make that just a little bit more narrow and we can look at this and we can add this to our sales and we should be able to get our profit value so if we add cost and sales but we can use this to kind of create a another area chart that's going to represent our cost versus our sales so I'm going to select column A hold down com my command or control key and hit column E and column F and then I'm going to insert another chart we're going to make this an area chart and we've got a couple of options here We'll go ahead and select this one uh, and I can make this stacked and now you can see that this is going to represent uh, our cost as well of our as well as our sales and you can look at those numbers they actually do look like our profit is kind of uh, kind of represented here so uh, this kind of shows us our cost versus our sales and we'll go ahead and just call this profit sales and costs now if we want to see what the profit line looks like with just a slightly different scale we can actually select the date values hold down our command and control v control and uh, hold down or select that profit column now if we insert another chart we'll just make this a simple line chart 
you can see again the scale's a bit different, but you can see how this kind of uh, this kind of is very comparable. You know, we're starting off below zero, and this is going to be negative 200 over here. That point is going to be even though it's stacked up, it's going to be negative 200. So you can see our our cost was negative 3800 or 3800 our sales were 3600 which should put us about the same so kind of showing two different pictures here but the nice thing about this profit chart on the right is it's actually showing us what the components of this are we can see what our sales are uh, compared to our, our costs and this is kind of showing us you know how or what each one of these is made up of so the area chart can be used to combine these values pretty effectively and sometimes tell a more complete picture or sometimes tell a more interesting picture of, of your data thanks for watching and in our next few videos we'll demonstrate some of the other charts that we can use in Google Sheets